Wait a minute, wait. We've got a giveaway. So stay tuned to this episode. It's a giveaway. You want this shirt. You want this shirt. Listen, listen to our review. You want this shirt. You, you listen to the Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. And that is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. It's the time. Oh, it's not a party. This is not What's a going pie. on, guys? What's going on? This is Huncho. This is Vibe. It's Garbanzo. Darth Flex. Here with the Deadpool 2 review. Uh, we'll be going over the usual, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The plot, the characters, and our final thoughts. We'll give you a time code before we get into spoilers so you can skip to our final thoughts. This movie was exactly what I expected. It was very entertaining. <laughs> uh, I mean, like... like Oh, you okay. probably hear it from Vi, but he said it was, it was it was simple, so it's very entertaining for what it was. I mean, it was it, it was it was Deadpool. It was Deadpool, man. Like, it was it really was. I think for me, the good was actually that they they kept true to the the they kept true to the, to the movie. Uh, they kept true to the first one. It's like it, it was it, it was a great continuation. Um, it was it was a, a great sequel, and I don't say that very often. Dupender. So Dupender. Dupender. He's good. What about Dupender? I actually enjoyed this character, this, this Dupender a, a lot more. He wanted, he was power hungry. That's why I liked him a lot. For me, um, what was good for you? Domino. Yeah. What's your shtick? I'm lucky. Luck isn't a superpower. <laughs> not, only, not, 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 not only was she gorgeous, but I liked her character. I actually enjoyed I feel, her I feel like too. I knew her though. She reminded me of somebody. I don't know who she reminded me of, but every time she was on screen oh. talking. I'm sorry, you know who the good was? The Invisible Man. Vanisher. That's the good. That okay. was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much bad, actually. What I, I would say, maybe. Oh, no nudity for me. No, that's pretty bad. <laughs> well, well, actually, there there was a little bit of uh, questionable. Yeah, I mean, there was questionable. Oh, there nudity. was a little nudity. Uh, <laughs> a little, a little, a little nudity. <laughs> Um, I think the the uh, the bad for me um, honestly was uh, a couple of the surprises uh, dealing with the X Force group guys. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But I I'll be honest. I saw the trailer a couple of times. I totally forgot they were in the movie. I uh, <laughs> I wish there was more. Um, I can't really say that's a that's a no no that's a spoiler. Um, the bad spoiler more time of him. That's all. Okay, so so beep basically I'm beeping that out. Yeah. More more beep more time with beep. <laughs> exactly. The bad for me was the editing in the beginning drove me nuts. You have to understand that 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 it caught my attention. You know you, you know, had to you have know what drew it. me nuts. That what drew me really bad and crazy. Domino scene when she's coming out of the bus and it's like that whole sci-fi feel to it when she's walking. From the parachute, mm -hmm. there was a weird like CGI feel to it. I was gonna get, I was gonna get into that for the ugly, but 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 for me, that, I know what you're talking was... about. That's the bad for you. For me, it was and because here's the thing: you'll see Deadpool, and it'll be like 15 minutes of Deadpool, 20 seconds randomly of Cable, then back to Deadpool for like 10 minutes, then another 35 seconds. It just it was. I don't understand why they did it like that. It made no sense to me. I mean, eventually when he finally joined the crew, it it, it the editing. It got better, but in the beginning, it was like it's like me and you talking, 
right? We're talking for a while, and then I'm gonna quickly jump, cut to. So. And then back to us. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like. Pretty much. It, it was kind of weird, so that drove me nuts. So the ugly. Mm, what was the ugly? Again. Nothing, nothing, man. I, I couldn't find anything ugly about this movie. I mean, this movie in itself is ugly, but in an entertaining way because that's what it's meant to be. It, it, it's a, it's a it, Deadpool it, it movie, really and is. it's just an ugly way of doing comedy. It's great. I love it. I, um, I want to say there's a certain like certain characters that weren't portrayed um, exactly how I had hoped, but they were they were still given justice. That and, and some of them were given. Very few give it just. <laughs> hmm. Go ahead, you think about the ugly for me was this was was some of the the CGI effects. Mm. Some of it was too. It looked unfinished. Mm. It was, I expected more. The CGI effects in Deadpool one looked, looked better than than this movie in my opinion. So oh, it kind of okay. it, it drove me a little nuts. The ugly also, I can't stand the kid. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? I couldn't stand the kid at all. The entire MacGuffin of this movie, or or the point, or the whatever, the kid. I didn't like his character. I didn't like his personality. I didn't like his accent. I, he he was he was like he was he was a He's little from New Zealand. He was a little snot. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I, Every time he was on screen, I I was doing this to myself. I don't have an ugly. You don't have an ugly? No. Nothing got under your skin. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. No. I actually you marvel uh, shit. Oh, uh, but it was just a, it was just a, yeah. I think for me, I, I think I would like to see a little more, uh, uh, just some more character development in certain in certain in certain areas. But that's just not a Deadpool move. <laughs> there was significantly less fourth wall breaks. That's one. Two, but there's in the comic books there's not a lot of fourth wall. Yeah, maybe in the MCU universe, he's in the Marvel Cinematic uh -huh. Universe, he's probably known for fourth walking fourth wall breaking uh -huh. but for the comic book he's just all in your face like but that's fourth wall his, breaking but not to the mean to the, the character back that's not, not the comic book but he was funny i enjoyed them the, it just felt so good it felt we're, right we're in we're in the ugly can we admit that that his facial scarring looked a lot 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 less than it did in deadpool one maybe the, the, the less no. make more makeup i don't know there was significantly less makeup he didn't look he looked more ryan reynolds in this than he did in the, in the that previous. That doesn't bother me. It bothers me because because why? When his body's healing the scars. The whole point of the whole point of movie one was he thought he was ugly and he wanted to get his get his girl back. So why would they make his facial scarring look less? All right, we're heading into spoilers right now. Skip to this time code if you want to know our final thoughts. But let's get into it. The plot. Plot was great, man. Again, like it's just simple, but it's very entertaining. It's just it's 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 like the video game. It's just going killing, 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 and doing. Yeah, stuff. I, here is the plot of the story. It's a very simple plot, so exactly. you can get it. Exactly, you just save the kid. Great. The plot of the story is that's it. That's what it's for. You yes, save yeah, kid. save the kid from Cable. Basically, the kid with the fire hands, when he grows up, he becomes a tyrant and blows away people. Cable is trying to get rid of him in the future. Almost gets close a couple of times, so to get back at him, the kid, who is now an adult, burns his family. He comes back, he's sad, goes back in time to kill him as a, what was it, 13, 15 year old? Yeah. And basically, that's it. Plot was great, man. Again, like, it's just simple, but it's very entertaining. It's just, it's, it's, it's like the video game. It's just going, killing, 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 and doing Yeah, stuff. I, okay, here's the, here's the thing. Uh, I, I, it's, you know, um, they start off very jarring uh, with, you know, with Vanessa's death. And it, I tell everyone as a spoiler is no, 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 no spoiler no, territory. It was great. I mean, that was the, just that whole, th just that whole bit. It's their first, first year anniversary. Then he gets broken into by random thugs. They never said who the random thugs were. They were the ones that he was chasing. When? From where? Remember the scene where he was running away because the guy chilled himself into the little room. You're right. That's You're right. Scene. Okay, yeah. So they come, they shoot, kills um his uh, Vanessa, his 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 girlfriend, and. That throws him into my a fiance. hole. Of, huh? oh, his fiance? My fiance. But it's former known as Vinay. Nobody cares. But you know what was funny about her death though when he went into the um, opening credits and he was like directed by obviously the guy who killed the dog. Wait, what? John Wick. <laughs> It, it, no, the, the opening the opening credits were phenomenal. I mean I, I <laughs> they were the, some of the best. So she dies, he goes into a depression, and he blows himself up. Colossus finds him, brings him back, gets him back, patched back together, and convinces him to become an X-Man. 
It appears as if the X-Men are arriving with what appears to be a trainee. Everyone calm down. The pros are here. I, we're the X-Men. What are you doing? This is the where my favorite scene of the entire movie was, which is where he's still throwing it in their face that there's no other X-Men. And then the camera pans over, and you see the X Men from now. It was Future days past. Days future past. No, I saw James McAvoy. I saw Beast. Uh -huh. I saw Professor X, Beast, Cyclops. Who else yep. was there? That's all and I Jean. saw. Who? Gene. Gene was there. Who yeah. else? I didn't get to see. I didn't see everybody. All I saw was Professor X. And they just closed the door behind. And it closed. And all you saw was like this. And it was really, really <laughs> funny. Finds out the kid's being hurt. Shoots one of the one of the one of the workers at this place. And him and the kid go to jail, which is where, of course, uh, Cable finds him. And uh, well. That's pretty much it. I yeah. mean, I mean, it, that's also the MacGuffin area where the kid finds this dark, deep person and it's Juggernaut. Which is Juggernaut. I was not expecting Juggernaut to be in this movie. I didn't know he was going to be in this movie. But, but it, is, is there some significance to that? I guess he's a bad guy. Yeah, well, he's like the side something, you know? I actually like Juggernaut. I enjoy one of those with my favorite villains. Now, was that the same voice from, from, the, from Last Stand? I was trying to figure it out. It sounded like sometimes it sounded exactly. like him. Exactly. Sometimes it sounded like but him. I enjoyed Juggernaut a lot. I wish there was more time of him. That's what my gets me so frustrated. I wish there was more time of Juggernaut. I would have enjoyed him throughout more of the movie than I already did. I feel bad for him electric him in the ass though. That's assuming he's dead. I don't think he's dead. No, he came out of the pool at the end. Oh he did? Yeah, he was getting out of the pool. Oh, okay. It was just a revenge film. But it is, at first it started a revenge film, but then you know what? It's not. It's really this one's really a love story. Yeah, because I, I felt the emotion in the beginning and in the end. I kind of, I didn't tear up, but I was like... <sighs> you could see how like, you could, though. This is what true love is like. Yeah. God, I'm soulless. Yeah. yeah no, it like, was... This is this is the love story that you were promised in Deadpool 1. Yeah. So basically, the movie is, <laughs> is a cat and mouse game between um, Deadpool and Cable. They go... Bring it on one night, Willie. So Cable decides he needs to put together a team to save the kid, and that's his X Force. And this is this this. And here's the funny thing about it: they really, really, really pushed hard that this team was gonna be in the movie, just to get rid of them after the the plane scene. Yeah. <laughs> one by one, they all die. Terry Crews gets run by a troop by 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 a bus. He gets he he parachutes into the, a bus. Uh, what's the guy? What's the name? The invisible what? The invisible guy. He gets electrocuted. He gets in Vanisher. In, in Vanisher. Is it executed into the power lines? But let's talk coming out of the plane. That was hilarious. That was hilarious because here's the thing: though, we don't even know he's really there, and uh, it's really funny because oh, you see just a, 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 a harness there suspended in the air. Yeah. And you don't know if anybody's there, and you you do see that somebody is there because when he when he touches the electrical poles, it's a, it's a yeah a guy. Um, we talk about uh, is it Peter? Who P Peter? Peter? Oh, the, the the normal guy. The normal guy. Normal guy. Normal guy. Gets normal guy. Throwing up acid, acid blood well, because he's trying to save the guy from the grinder. Yeah, the guy from the grinder, and, and then, then um, the guy who ran into the helicopter. Who yeah, another one. What was his Alien? name? I forget his name. Stri Striker, Striker, something. Yeah, yeah, Spitfire, whatever. He he gets you know killed in propeller blades, and basically all that's left the X Force is Domino, Domino, and, Domino. and Deadpool, and that was hilarious. I didn't expect that at all. The movie ends with uh, jump, jump, jumping back in time. No, first they they, they, they finally confront him. Juggernaut has been disposed of, they confront the kid, the kid is ready to burn, and the idea basically is if, if this kid, and you know what, they pull that crap from Days of Future Past, mm -hmm. because if Mystique killed a guy, that's how he went down mm -hmm. the wrong road. And mm -hmm. this is the same thing, if, the, if if he killed the headmaster of this place, Cable says that he has a taste for mm -hmm. death, and he just goes goes nuts. Yes, so Deadpool so, gets shot. Yes, uh, he gets he shot, dies. he gets shot and he dies because he has a collar on his neck that takes care of his mutant powers, which is really interesting. Uh, he did it to sacrifice, he sacrificed himself and for, for the kid for the, to show the him world that you know there are good people in the world and that helps and that helps to 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 correct the future that cable wanted so cable sees him die and cable feels kind of bad so cable goes back in time and puts uh, a coin there and the coin is supposed to symbolize uh something that he had gave vanessa in the beginning of the movie and it saves him that. and it still however saves the timeline so he says that he's gonna stick around and um that's the end of the movie yeah. I actually enjoyed um, Negasonic's uh, Teenage War. I had no opinion. I thought his girlfriend, her girlfriend was really cute. Yeah. She was very pretty. Yeah, she was. She was very, I, I loved her interactions with, with, with Deadpool. It's, can, can I do this thing? Yeah. 
scissors. Right, sure. Dumbledore. What he said. I love Domino's. I character. think you said Dependo was your favorite character. No, I like what they did with Dependo's character. That's the good. Okay. But Domino's my favorite character. That was my I, favorite too. I really enjoyed her character. Online. I agree. I agree. We're um, on the same page. Then the next one would be Deadpool because I just love me some Deadpool. Okay. The third one would be Cable. I actually like. I I, I got a I um. I think I think the fact that he played Thanos kind of ruined it for me because all I heard was Thanos, all I saw was Thanos, all I heard was Thanos. I actually no, I think I didn't see that. I I saw. That's I, all I heard and saw. And before we give you our final thoughts, we've got a T-shirt giveaway from Deadpool. original Deadpool number one. Yeah, original Deadpool number one. Ouchie. So basically, the basic rules are: leave a comment underneath this video, tell us what you thought about Deadpool, and we'll pick the best comment. We'll read it next time, probably on our podcast, and. Um, I will send it out right out to you. So please, by all means, comment below. Let us know. So better than a notebook, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, Much better. I I can I can agree with you on that. Um, Not even being funny. Best 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 uh, best moment. Best moment. I know mine uh. off the bat. I, it's the easiest e easiest thing for me to say. It, it's tough because one of my favorite parts in the movie was the opening credits when it says, directed obviously by the guy who killed the dog in John Wick. Yes, that was that was phenomenal. That was that was ridiculously funny. And then, hmm, go with yours, because uh, if you're gonna say my that, favorite is when they fix the time jump go, device, and all of a sudden it jumps to to Wolverine Origins, and he's like, excuse me, shoots the guy, the Deadpool, across the head. Then empties a whole gun and says, uh, oh, wait, 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 you know, no stabby. I'm just here to clean up the timeline. And I was like, what? <laughs> and, <laughs> and he just walks away. <laughs> when uh, Ryan Reynolds gets the actual Green Lantern script. Yes! You're, you're in the big yes! now, boys. Okay, the, 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 uh, the, after, the after credit after credit stuff is great. And then the Juggernaut song. Oh, the Juggernaut. At first, it... it it, it not, classy, I'm not gonna sing it because. But then I told Juan, bro, did you hear what they just said? The, the, the words of this song, but it sounds like like classical music, like some kind of so, battle music. So go ahead and look it up. Listen to it for yourself, <laughs> okay? Just be forewarned. It is a little. It is a little. Uh, 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 not uh, suitable uh, for R rated. Final thoughts, Wancho. I actually enjoyed this movie a lot. I was worried that I was not gonna like it because sometimes all this comedy is overplayed yeah. as, as number two. But because it's Deadpool, it felt natural. It just everything felt so good about the movie. I agree. Besides, if you ignore the, the symbol, do you think if it was a different character other than Deadpool, do you think that the comedy would have played again? I don't know. Because, I'm not sure. Because Deadpool's Deadpool. You know this is gonna be Deadpool, so that anything he does is funny. So it's like a continuation of his jokes. It's not like the new jokes. It's like mm -hmm. okay, you expect it. it. That's what was so great about this movie. Very true. Very true. There's, there's so many great moments. Um, but yes, just I, I love the movie. I, I'm looking forward to watching it again, actually. Me too, me too. I'm actually going to even. I'm actually looking forward to seeing it again more than I am seeing Infinity War a second time. I enjoyed this movie as well. It was funny. It's, it really is one of those very simplistic storylines. Very simplistic. But what do you expect from a movie like this? Um, Besides the editing in the beginning, I, I enjoyed it. Nothing else really bothered and the me. The gruesome scenes were like really beyond like, oh my gosh. I think I think it was more gruesome than Deadpool One. Are you sure? You got a guy running, slamming into a thing and turning into putty. <laughs> yeah, you got a guy whose propeller cut, sliced up. But all you saw was like the entrails afterwards. But what about when they, they were fighting inside that uh, off orphanage? When the guy's head gets chopped off because of the wood case. Yeah, but but it was but it's still it was still kind of off camera, you know. You didn't literally see. Okay. Come on, you saw a person fly into a a sign and turn oh, to wood. Go. <laughs> Uh, just watch it. I mean, I, I highly recommend it. It was extremely funny. Uh, the characters were, were great, even though some were short-lived or what have you. But like the, the I'm sorry, Shatterstar was a, that was so that pissed me off to no extent. He's a, man, a phenomenal character in the comics, yeah. but at least they got the blood right. That's true. And they actually gave him he actually right origin. He sure is from the Mojo world. You know what I did like what they did with Delpinder in this movie. That was. <laughs> Uh, that was good. It was tasteful. It was tasteful. It was. It was. It really was. They gave him his little. His little they gave him a shot in the end, huh? Yeah. <laughs> baby Deadpool's. Okay, so your favorite scene. That's actually my favorite scene. The baby Deadpool legs. Yes. Yes. He gets. He gets ripped in half by Jug Juggernaut. Yes. Juggernaut rips him in half, and so his lower half has to grow back, and so he gives us a a a, uh, a fatal a fatal instinct. What is it called? Uh, basic instinct. Basic instinct. Basic instinct. Cross, uh, cross the legs with a with a, with a baby. <laughs> Good times. And he's walking. He's like everybody's like, why do you can walk? <laughs> Good times. But yes, simplistic story, but very fun, entertaining. It's one of those turn your brain off, enjoy the movie. I actually you, turn my you, brain you're off. You're gonna love it. 
Huh? I need you to. Bring I try. It up. I had to turn my brain off because if I if, if I if I really sat down and analyzed this movie, I'd have been wearing the grumpy hat cat. Oh, I couldn't okay. do that. So I wasn't doing it this time. I guess that's a wrap. That's Don't forget yeah. to give us our, your comments. Don't forget, if you want to see our Stardust original reaction, go to the Stardust app, type in Vibrev Studios. You'll see the, our initial reaction. Myself, Juancho, and, and Darflex. If you want to hear our podcast review, check out our podcast. You hear all four of us there. It's fantastic. It is. All right. Well, that's a wrap. I've been Vibe. This is Juancho. Signing off. Garbanzo. Darth Flex. Begin out, never looks so good. Everything was good for this God movie. damn it. Why are you guys so general? When I say the good, I mean something something specific. Deadpool. Oh my god. One thing is when he was ranting off to Colossus, like, it's like you guys can't even afford at least one of the famous X-Men actors. Yes! And then in the background, you see them, <laughs> and a bunch of X-Men closing the doors. We also have a podcast, um, and again, we also have a podcast review. Uh, really? Sorry, hold on. And again, we have a podcast review and a, and a contest. So listen to our podcast at WeBeGeeksPC.com or on iTunes. Or where else? iHeartRadio. Uh, radio, Spotify, Stitcher, Google. Because we're giving away this pop, but you gotta comment on that. On that, uh, you gotta email us yep. for that one. And the rules are in the podcast. You gotta listen to the podcast. Yes.